first of all, Martin and Jamarco, thank you so much uh, for, for joining us for this. Um, before we start, Matt, I'll just give you the, the thumbs up right now because I want to capture your emotions when you see the chosen picture. <laughs> and I'll start with you, Martin, because you are the one who chose the picture. I'm pretty sure you took a lot of photos of John Marco in Budapest. Why did yeah, you end exactly. up choosing this one? First of all, let me thank you so much for this opportunity. I feel uh, very honored uh, to meet you, meet you, John Marco. Uh, I ha actually never had the My chance pleasure. to spoke to an athlete at your level. So I feel very honored, but a bit nervous. So thank you. And <laughs> sorry if I, uh, my English is not so perfect all the time. Um, Don't I worry, decided... it's better than mine for sure. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I decided to choose this image because, yeah, I took a lot of pictures and uh, I think this was on uh, day four. And um, of course, uh, since the shared gold at the Olympics, uh, I knew this is going to be a very interesting final. And I remember after you won the gold medal, you were running around uh, and I didn't have an infield access. So I was only able to work from the outside. I was very glad. Uh, I think this was after you jumped into the water and then went to your staff and to your mom. <laughs> and I decided yeah, exactly. to choose this because uh, I think this is a really nice uh, image of, of family and some kind of... Um, deeper meaning just an actual um, action shot so it spoke to me on a, on a higher level than just a action shot so i decided to give it a chance and i'm uh, really honored that you like this one and choose so thank you thank Jamal. you thank you to you thank jamarco um and of course you had a lot of photos to choose from there were a few that were quite similar as well in some regards what made you choose martin's picture yeah so hi everyone hi martin nice to meet you and thanks for the picture you have done i saw many many of them uh, after the final in budapest and they were wonderful uh, all of them were were really wonderful it was really tough to choose the best one from uh thousand of, of shoot but uh i think this 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 picture it's really intense because uh there are a lot behind the, the uh relationship uh, uh between a son and a mother uh, i think uh most of the people never say to a mother what they really think about them how much how much we are proud of our mother how much how much we want we love them we never say anything about about these things because we are too shy to say what we really think what we really uh, feel uh about our mother but when it happened to live this kind of moment like uh winning a gold medal in a world championship when you're there with your mother you can feel with the hug with just one moment one second all these feelings comes out and this picture i think it represents it all i mean it's in one picture you can still all the love from a mother to the son, uh, how much how much she knows uh, about me, how much she knows how many sacrifices I have done to be there to achieve that goal. You can see from this picture how much I'm proud to have my mother there with me. And I mean, you really see a lot in one picture about uh, the relationship between a, a son and a mother. So I think really this picture, it, it's really, it means a lot for me and uh, it really, uh, gives a lot to who see this picture. Martin, what does it mean to you to hear John Marco talk about your work the way he just did? I, I nearly cried. <laughs> I, I'm speechless, really. And um, yeah, I, I mean, he basically summarized uh, my. So I'm pretty sure this was in in the back of my head when I choose this image. Now I'm just a bit. Uh, uh, nervous to be able to express myself, but thank you, Gian Marco. So you <laughs> summarize that pretty nice. I'm, it's, thank uh, you, thank you. It's so nice to see him that emotional. So thank you. I'm really, I'm really happy and uh, and proud to to have choose your your picture because uh, I can see from your eyes, from your way to speak, that you're really that kind of of man who works a lot behind. And uh, I, I really think you deserve this kind of uh, 
this kind of uh, award, how you can say. John Marco, when you think back to that very moment, I mean, you've experienced a kind of Olympic glory, which was very different because it was there were no spectators and all this. If you compare this moment um, to anything else that you've experienced, where does it rank and what emotions do you feel? Uh, honestly, uh, this kind of feeling I had in Budapest it gives me um, a lot of energy to work for the next year because I have I had the feeling of the sharing the emotions with the with the parents, with the people, with the crowd. So after, as you said, in in Tokyo we had an empty stadium and uh, it was such a pity because uh, that big event with nobody to watch. Uh, I'm really, really looking forward to, to compete in Paris and try to have this kind of feeling again, but with the full stadium. Budapest, it's, uh, it will be one of the biggest memories of my career because uh, I never have won a world championship outdoor and uh, winning it at the age of 31 years old, probably not the last cha world championship, but one of the last. So the chances to, to get it. And uh, it means a lot because it was the last big event that I missed in my palmares. So I've, now I, I have the full palmares. I can start with the second uh, <laughs> second term with the with the with the gold medals in the in the all events. Now joking apart, I'm I'm really happy for that moment because a lot of uh, my friends and parents were there, and uh, I really felt that sharing moments with the, with them. And what does it mean to you that actually someone managed to capture that moment of you with your mom? You talked about kind of what you experienced, but knowing that you have it there forever to look at. That's a really good question for me because we never talk about how much is important for us as athletes to have like something to remember it because uh, our memory, is, of course, is in our mind, but the, the, the picture, it gives you uh, the memory alive, like while I'm trying to uh, remind uh, Tokyo or Glasgow 2019 or uh, Portland 2016, I always look at the picture or at the video to remind the emotions because I can feel what it, what it was, but looking at the picture, it gives you a totally different approach. It gives you a lot more. So we must be really grateful to all these uh, people that works behind the scene but gives you really a lot they gives uh, they they their best to 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 report what is happening what what happening and uh, it gives us the the chances uh, for our entire lives to remember that moments and to show to our future son or babies what happened how it happened how it was uh, i mean it's really i'm grateful to you uh, more than you think for for your job, honestly. In the name of all my colleagues and myself, thank you. Grazie. <laughs> You're welcome. I really, I really, uh, I'm just saying what I really think, and I'm sure that most of the athletes think the same.